Aaron? Can you hear us? I, there you go. I can hear you. Oh, okay. I'm up here with Coney, and uh, Meredith is with us as well. There's a pitch in there for his call and strike to Polanco. What did you think of Loisga's outing today? <laughs> I thought he was pretty good. Um, you know, he really <clears throat> worked on establishing his changeup and threw it a lot. Threw some good ones. Mm -hmm. Threw some ones I thought were a little bit flat. And then, obviously, you know, I think uh, probably, uh, you know, probably wish he would have gone to a breaking ball there with Ryan. Uh, John Ryan Murphy there with that two strikes ahead in the count just right down the middle and, and then they caught him so but overall I thought pretty good and another good step for him moving forward he, he finished up with I think another 17 or so in the pen to get to get his uh, pitch count up to about 45. Yeah, Mur Murphy has three hits this spring all three are home runs. Yeah. Uh, David and I were talking about this young man on the mound right now Nick Nelson he's showing us a big arm. Yeah, he's got he's I mean, he's clearly got a big arm, you know, I mean, it's, you know, refining the command a little bit, um, you know, in th three pitches, you know, fastball, breaking ball, that change up, they all play, but it's just a matter of really tightening up and being able to, you know, consistently get in the, get ahead in the count because when he's doing that, then he can be then he can be special. You know, not to uh, change the subject right here and we'll, we'll talk a little bit about the injuries, a ground, uh, fly, a ground ball foul. The situation last year, mm -hmm. I mean, the team battled through it, won 103 games, win the division pretty easily, and you would think all that's behind you. Now, how does this wear on a manager to you know, see players go down time and time again? Well, I don't know that wears on me. You know, I, I kind of hurt for the individual guys, you know, and, and obviously in a, in, in a lot of cases, guys we're missing right now or, or in Seve's case, losing. I mean, these are obviously important guys to our club, you know. So, but but in the immediate, you know, I just kind of feel for them and hurt for them and want them to get right because I know how bad they all want to get back out on the field. But, um, you know, our message is constantly, it, it, it doesn't matter what, you throw at us what adversity comes our way the expectation never changes and it's because of the confidence we have in the people in our room across the board and so um, we keep moving on and and uh, no matter what you throw at us we're gonna we're gonna come to compete with an expectation that we're coming out to beat you do you find you have the voice that to the team uh, or is that something they know themselves or have learned since <sighs> last year um, you know, it's something we talk about uh, at the start of spring training last year. Um, mm -hmm. uh, it's a message I try and instill at the start of spring training this year and then uh, throughout the year, you know, the message when I'm talking to you guys or when I'm talking to the media every day, you know, there's never any uh, uh, woe is us or feeling bad for ourselves. We, we, got, we have to pick up the slack and pick up the pieces and we know you know, not just because we're given a lip service, but because we have a lot of confidence in the depth that we've developed here over the last couple of years. Yeah, Aaron, do you feel comfortable with who you have in camp for the outfield coverage or more specifically, maybe even some of the non roster guys uh, that are true outfielders? Are they getting a second look now? Well, I, I do. You know, obviously with Guardian Talkman, we have two guys that are, you know, tremendous outfielders. Frage, who you know, I, I feel like continues to mature and develop. Miggy, we like what we've seen so far with him out in left field. Um, you know, we might even flirt with moving him over to right field just to give us some of that flexibility. Um, you know, a guy like Herrera has really uh, opened our eyes. Zach Granite's done a nice job coming in. So, you know, we feel like we've got pretty good depth. And then, and then obviously with the hope that Giancarlo won't be long and, and, and the same with Aaron. So, and then you get Hicks back at some point in the season. So, you know, <clears throat> we've... We've hit a little adversity and, and some things we got to deal with, but we feel like, you know, we're equipped to handle it. Now you're going into your third year as the Yankee manager here, and I don't think I've, I've asked you this question before. I don't know if anybody's asked you this question. Is it everything you thought it would be <laughs> being a major league manager? Um, I can tell you I love it. Um, you know, as corny as it sounds, like I love working for this organization. Um, it's it's a special thing to be a part of. Um, you know, from the Steinbrenner family to Cash, uh, the front office, the, the staff I get to work with, and then the players that I've inherited or that have come in along the way. It's just people you want to go to work with every single day. And, um, so no matter what comes up in the season, 
And look, there's there's days when it's hard and there's a lot going on and there's things you can't necessarily account for. There's weeks where it's it's a grind and it's tough. But I can honestly say I've, I've loved every bit of it um, and, and, you know, look forward to hoping hoping to be a part of, of bringing another championship home. Well, you must have loved that play by your third baseman who stayed with that play, yeah. Urshela. Yeah, it was really Get, nice. Getting a double play. John Ryan Murphy coming up with two outs and nobody on. Now, who's going to follow Nelson today? Is it Tropiano who's going to go? Um, let me see here. Let me check my trusty old. <laughs> it could be, I think, Tropiano. We could go to one of our relievers and Lions or Holder first. Okay. Or Otero. But I, I got to check with the boss over here, mm -hmm. Mr. Blake, and what exact order he wants to go in. <laughs> Ground ball the third. This looks like it's going to be it. Harry, we want to thank you for stopping by and talking to us once again. And, uh, yeah, it might be a little different, but things are working out for you very well. Thanks, Amy. Thanks, Tony. See you guys.